All right, folks, from Woodland Hills, we're at AMF Woodlake for the title matches of today's JBT event. Two of our veteran handicap division bowlers going at it here. It's Brittany Kalatsny up here in the right-hand lane taking on Drew Stern for today's title. Drew the top seed, while Brittany has climbed up from the number three position to bowl for today's title. A little flat in that shot, lose a 2-4-5. That's her third frame. She wants fair strike in the first two. Meanwhile, Drew went spare open strike in his first three, and Brittany is giving Drew five extra pins a handicap, so Brittany's got to win this match by six pins. If she spares it up, she will lead by 14 scratch, minus those five, technically. And she does indeed spare it up and doesn't even have that lead. Brittany wants to win her second career JBT title to go along with a couple women's series wins. Well, Big Drew in his senior season here on JBT is uh, looking for win number four of his career. Brittany, one of the more talented female bowlers that we have, even though she's bowling out of the handicap division. For this year at least, expect to start having some yellow cards for her in the near future. That ball was high all the way and lucky to only leave the 6'10". She came in on a 190 average, bowled every single game over that average today, and 6 out of 8, 200 as well. Qualified third to plus 172. Beat Samantha Myers in the second game of the step ladder, and then just beat Kayla Goad in the semifinals to advance here to take on Stern. Good form, cross lane with the ball that doesn't hook at all, and has that 6'10". been bowling just about since they invented the game of bowling. It feels like it's been a long time. Had a uh, nasty arm injury at the end of last season that caused him to miss the first half of this season. Boom. Despite that, he's won a title this year and has a chance, a real good chance, especially with today's performance, of uh, getting into the top 12 in our all-conference points, which will get him a bye into the quarterfinals of the TPC. So to do that in only half a season is a wonderful accomplishment. And the ball returns are giving out. We got ball returns on three and four. I think I heard it come down the rack there this time. Hey, Miss Ball Return. Could you tell them seven and eight needs it now? It's catching. Three and four and a bunch of ball returns. Now uh, seven and eight's broken. Yeah. Virtually break down three in our first ever visit to uh, Woodland Hills, AMF Woodlake. Very nice 32 lane in center. 76 bowlers started. We're down to the final two in handicap and the final three in scratch as Mark Myers and Dan Patty are going at it in the scratch division semifinal. That's Mark over there on your left. Mark's had a fantastic SoCal year. We're right in the thick of the bowler of the year hunt. While well, Dan Patty part of an invasion this week from Northern California. That's very familiar two-handed forms. A couple 300 games this year as well. And that big strike keeps him right in his match. We'll get back to that, but here's Stern with a double working in the push. You betcha. Down the pit with authority. He just gives the arms that flex. My goodness. I think he was happy with it. I will definitely do that. Yes. Brittany right now leading the all-conference female points list. The points leader for the girls points list is the female bowler of the year. We're high yet again. Still breaking up the splits, but a flirt with disaster there. Crashing through the one, three that much. Brittany likes to play a direct line. She doesn't do what we call belly in the ball, hooking it out from left to right. She likes to go down the boards or even point them. The lanes are, without doubt, starting to dry out. And uh, could potentially cause her problems. So when they do start to go, it's tough for her to make a move and not just get insta-hooked no matter where she goes. So we saw that yesterday out of uh, Leah's wag, who had just no chance because the lanes are totally torched where she was trying to play Brittany, an older and higher average bowler. See what kind of move she makes to get that ball to just get a little further down the lane. Looks like she's going to move left a bit. There you go. Tripped out the four. A little more
more volume today than yesterday, so they were still still able to move left and get that ball to hold pocket just long enough. She still needs a little bit more fine tuning to get that ball to get off the head pin a bit. And Drew might just well uh, explode if he gets a four bagger here. He likes it. Oh, he did the arm thing and didn't carry. High all the way, doesn't trip the four. If he spares it up, he'll be leading on the board by nine pins and gets five more on top of that. So 14 pin lead if he can spare up this four pin. It's coming down to the tenth frame over in the scratch semi. We'll try and grab a piece of that if we can. Oh, no. You may have heard them scream for the scratch bowler's ball to tilt, and Drew needed his ball to tilt, and it didn't, and he misses the four pin. Not a good miss there from Stern, and virtually evens up the match with that open. Drew, the grab-and-go theory of bowling, he's going to take that ball and fire it down the lane. He still does the arm thing. He doesn't care if it's in the pocket or not. He's just going to will those pins down. So far, both bowlers able to break up the big disaster splits for the most part. Should be a makeable six pin, but that was a makeable four pin last frame too, so we'll see what happens here. That's a little better. There we go. Mark Myers needs this strike in good count to advance to the scratch division title match to avoid the Nortel sweep. Yes, sir. Seven spare will do it for Myers over there. Brittany with a key shot here. Seventh frame of the match. She's getting short quickly, working on that strike. Can she make the right adjustment on this lane as well? More speed, it looks like. More speed, but didn't come out of that ball so so great. Again, lucky to only leave the four pin. I don't think she can throw the ball too much faster than that. Yeah. Will be a Hewers My Myers, yeah, <laughs> Hewitt Myers title match in a battle of two bowlers in the top five in SoCal scratch points. No trouble at all for the four pin for BK. She leads by three and minus the five, so trails by two overall. Spare working in the eighth frame now. many opportunities for uh, girls in high school bowling, especially college bowling. Girl of Brittany's talent already can have her pick of some girls' schools. She wants to continue that direction. That looks pretty good. Oh, boy. Again, it just barely trips out that four pin. It's just enough. It looks like the ball wants to hold a little nicer on seven than eight. That's good news for Kolatsny because she finishes on that one. Here's Big Drew. Big strike in the eighth. He didn't do the arm thing. <laughs> Guess he figured it wasn't working. Wow. That was his best shot of the title match there. And uh, no arm thing at all. Still leads by two. Extends to 11 with the win here. He might be throwing it by Mike. Oh, you betcha. You do that arm thing, Drew Sterling. That's a big double right there. Drew, is that an Ebonite bowling ball? Huh? Is that an Ebonite bowling ball? Yeah, it's Ebonite. Good answer. Ebonite's awesome, aren't they? I love Ebonite. There you go, man. Making money, Drew Sterling, right there. <laughs> Extra $100 scholarship if he wins throwing Ebonite. At every one of our regular season events. As well as the EFX bracelet not currently on his hand. I have great balance when there's an EFX bracelet near me. <laughs> Huge shot here for Brittany. As much as she's done on tour, she doesn't have as many titles as you might think she has. This is a key shot if she wants to win one here. Oh, again, trip that four pin out. Boy, oh boy. One, two, three, four trip fours that I can think of in this title match. So she continues to lead by three, again, giving five. So whatever she does here, both bowlers on doubles in the 10th frame, Drew has to do two pins worse than that to stay even with it. She's 
strikes here. Drew will likely have to strike as well on the first shot. Oh my, he said good ball, and I agree. Actually, I think she like threw it great. And sometimes when you throw it too good, you get a little bit more reaction out of the ball. And it's really a nice shot under pressure, but as she's been doing most of this game, just a pinch high. Good news is no split. Bad news is no strike. Worst news is eight count means two extra pins count off there, and that could definitely factor in here. Nice job of the fourth seven. Really important for Kalatsen here to fill up 10 on the fill ball if she can. Drew could strike, Drew could six count, Drew could anything. So get every pin you can and put the pressure on your opponent. Seven. Well, listen, a clean 2 on 3 out of Brittany, an excellent effort either way. But will it be enough? 9 spare strike for Drew is 202, plus pins is 216. So, good mark and good count on the fill is enough for a title. A strike here is a winner. Do the arm thing! Wow. After that open frame in the sixth, I didn't know if he was going to get shaky from there. Instead, it was okay shot and then flush, flush, and flush. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is that gal? <laughs> yes, my dear. Yes, he won. <laughs> With authority, by the way, too. Bang! Well, it's more disappointment for Brittany, but she should uh, hold her chin up high. She bowled a great game and a great tournament, but uh, Drew Stern catching fire at just the right time of the season. Yeah, it's a new pair, so feel free. It's going to be in the 220 scratch and title number four. Thank you, Brooklyn. 237 to 212 is your final. Great bowling by both those bowlers. We'll have some scratch division action on another video. Make sure to check it out.